Hey, welcome back to the uh, Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And uh, today we have 101 Dalmatians, the original 1961 version. Um, not the one with uh, Glenn Close, I think, Glenn Close. Yeah, uh, not the remake. This is the original animated version. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very simple film, but it's beautifully animated. And uh, it's got, it's clever and it's cute. And uh, it's actually a little horrifying at times as well. It's, again, this is 1961. So times are a little bit different there. Uh, there is um, a lot of smoking in this. So it gives you warnings. Uh, have, there's depictions of smoking uh, in the in the corner when when it starts. Um, there's an awful lot of smoking between uh, our main uh, human character um, Roger and uh, Cruella. Uh, they are both heavy smokers. It's kind of kind of cute <laughs> in an old timey way. Um, but in, it, other than that, the uh, it's it's a it's a razor thin plot. Um, again, these are not, I'm not denigrating this movie at all. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. This is, is meant for, meant for kids, uh, families, and it's meant to be just, uh, a thrilling, fun, good time with adorable puppies, adorable Dalmatian puppies. Um, I honestly, I, I I'm sure I saw this when I was a really, really little kid, but I've never had a reason to see it, uh, in my adult life, um. It's just not something that says, hey, no, it's, somebody just doesn't come up to you and go, hey, let's watch 101 Dalmatians, you know, unless it's a kid, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really have that opportunity. So until now, the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge has given it to me. Um, so, yeah, it's it's almost like it's, it's brand new to me. So I'm going to treat this as something that I've never seen before. And I realize there's a lot I didn't know about. I didn't, didn't realize was happening in this film. Uh, obviously, there's the whole Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Uh, she wants the puppies for, uh, she wants to make a coat out of them because she loves furs. And, uh, I think this pretty much makes her the, the officially the most evil, uh, Disney villain, animated villain out there. I mean, sure, there's Thanos over the Marvel Universe and Darth Vader with Star Wars. And you, you got other Disney villains who are trying to steal steals Ariel's voice in order to give her legs and, you know, there's, there's all sorts of meanies and baddies, but this woman wants to kill and skin puppies. And she's stolen 99 of them. The other two are our two main heroes, Pongo and his wife. I guess dogs get married, technically, when their owners get married. That's implied, I think. Anyway, uh, he is Pongo and his wife, uh, who have 15 puppies at one point. Uh, again, that to me, for a minute there, I was thinking that she gave birth to 101 puppies, which pretty much would kill her. And I, maybe I thought maybe there's a supernatural reason for this. Again, I haven't watched this since I was a kid and that could have happened in my little mind, but, uh, the 101 puppies or the 99 total puppies, uh, come into play uh, in a different way. Um, it seems that she's been a bit of a collector and she wants to skin a ton of puppies. She's not uh, happy with just 15. She just has two of her goons um, c collect them, steal them, uh, and steal the 15 that our, our uh, heroes have, the main characters have. Um, and uh, <laughs> she actually tells them, she doesn't care how they kill them, it's somewhat graphic for a Disney film. It's like, oh, just knock them over the head or you know, bash their brains in or, um, I don't know, what, what, what are the other, poison them, just whatever you can think of, I don't care, then skin them. And the guys are deciding who gets to not kill them and the other one gets to, uh, one gets to kill them, one gets to skin them. They're, they're arguing over which, uh, which one gets which job. Uh, when they're done watching television. There's an awful lot of television uh, watching in this. The dogs are even fascinated by it, one in particular. Um, but, uh, so this has to take place in 50s, 60s. I mean, obviously it's made since 1961, so it has to take place in the late 50s-ish. Um, I don't know. 
it's the TV screen is rather big for a rundown London outside of London mansion, but uh, but what do I know? It's uh, it's cartoon, so maybe they were dreaming of big big screen TVs. But of course, big screen TV to them is like a whole thirteen inches, but still, it's big for the puppies. Anyway, um, yeah, it's the half of this film is a is a race against time. It's a chase to rescue the puppies and then get them back home. And not just the 15, but all 99. And uh, it's them with the help, uh, it's the mom and dad with the help of an ingenious network of animals, um, primarily dogs, that uh, send a message across all of England to find out, find these puppies uh, where they're being, where they're being hidden. So it's kind of a, maybe a reminiscent of the uh, underground connections during World War II that, uh, you know, helped the Allies communicate. It's a kind of a little nod to that because all the people who are running it are like a military-type dog, a military-type horse, a, a military-type cat, like the general, the, the sergeant, the captain. So there's a certain militaristic, uh, I don't know, feel to it. It's intentional, so... Yeah, it's, uh, so anyway, the whole thing is, is again, you, it, I'm mean, reading way too much into this. It's meant to be a good, simple, fun time with a truly horrible uh, bad guy. Um, and the animation, like I said, is pretty dang old school, but awesome to, to see. Uh, there's one instance where uh, that was really surprised me. I'm not really sure how they did it. I should have done research, but I wanted to get this taken care of. And I'm sure you can look it up yourself. But when Cruella DeVille gets stuck in the snow in her big, long car, um, it's it almost looks like it was live action that was then animated over. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they did it, but it looked different than all the other animation in this movie. So take a look at that when if you get a chance to watch it, if you didn't get a chance to watch it uh, when I told you to yesterday. Speaking of which, if you do go looking for this movie on uh, Disney+, Plus, do not search for it by 101, 101. You're not going to find it. I almost had to come back and say I can't find it. But I looked again, and uh, if you search by Dalmatian, D-A-L-M-A-T-A-I-N-A-I-A-N, Dalmatians, if you look by Dalmatian, you will find it. Weirdly, 101 finds everything related to these movies except for the original which is just weird. It'll bring up the remake 101 Dalmatians, but it won't bring up the original. Weird. So, okay, uh, we're going to pick tomorrow's number. And it's a sit reset itself, unfortunately. Let's pick tomorrow's show or movie. 321, 321. Let's see what we got. 321... <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a movie, and it looks like it has to do with dogs again. I got a theme going. Um, 321, Life is Rough, R-U-F-F. -F. That's what makes me think it's a dog thing. So, Life is Rough. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here with more dog fun. See you.